Butterfinger Down Shy Social Anxiety Edition. Put a finger down if you've hidden when you've seen someone you knew. Put a finger down if you cannot talk on the phone. Put a finger down if you've mentally prepared yourself to say here when the teacher calls for attendance. Put two fingers down if you rehearse conversations in your head beforehand. Put a finger down if you rush to put your change back in your wallet so you don't hold up the line. Put two fingers down if you overthink about overthinking. Put a finger down if you pretend to look at other items because someone else is in the aisle looking at the item you actually want. Put a finger down if ordering food is scary. Put a finger down, dumb person edition, part 2. Put a finger down if you ever tried to get out of a car with your seatbelt on. Put a finger down if you ever looked for your phone while it was in your hand. Put a finger down if you've dropped your phone on your face. Put a finger down if you fell off your bed before. Put a finger down if you apologize to inanimate objects after bumping into them. Put a finger down if you've walked into a room and forgot what you went in there for. Put a finger down if you've choked on water before. Put a finger down if you use a calculator for 1 plus 1 just in case it didn't change. Put a finger down if you went back to sleep because you wanted to finish the storyline of your dream. And put a finger down if you can't pronounce Worcestershire sauce. Put a finger down things apparently only weird people do part 4. Put a finger down if you've ever tried to balance the light switch in the middle. Put a finger down if you've ever poured your drink into a cap and drank it as if it was a shot. Put a finger down if you feel weird when you say your name out loud. Put a finger down if you refuse to eat until you find the perfect show to watch. Put a finger down if you've ever tried to see which drink was less full to give to your sibling or someone else. Put a finger down if you look at your ceiling fan and wonder what would happen if it detached and fell off on you. Put a finger down if you've gotten shampoo in your eyes in the shower from trying to see if someone is there. It was most likely to in your friend group, but I created the audio because I don't like the other versions on TikTok. Most likely to read all the messages in the group chat but never respond. Most likely to dress up or look presentable when everyone else looks like a hobo. Most likely to hold the door for everyone in your friend group and then other random people passing by. Most likely to change the conversation into anything about them. Most likely to become an influencer or vlogger or famous in any way, shape, or form. Most likely to be telling a story but it gets really confusing because they tangent into other topics or stories along the way. Most likely to give the best advice for any life issues or minor inconveniences. Who's most likely to spend all their money on food? Just on food. Most likely to talk to a manager or employee because they got your friend or your friend group's orders wrong. Most likely to make up an excuse not to hang out just so they can stay at home. Most likely to help other people in your friend groups cheat or complete their assignments for them. Most likely to trip in public and fall on their face. Most likely to spend their night on a toilet seat yakking. Most likely to have a positive pregnancy test.